Hey guys and welcome to my next video on how to create an MMORPG. Well in our case we are creating a Clash Royale type of game or Hearthstone. Uh, yeah, um, I just have recorded this video but the sound was missing and yeah, um, that was actually pretty bad and really annoying but um, don't worry, um, I just give you a quick um, a quick view what I did um, and try to explain what I did there because I don't want to redo the whole code and stuff like that but um, I hope you guys are cool with that and yeah um, what I have done well we are starting with the client side um, well actually um, in this video we we have created um, the again server sending data where we send the player data from the um, from the server to the client and um, actually when you are getting into a match with your opponent um, you see the player opponent's name so um, yeah what did I do um, I have created um, a new script on our unity client called player um, um, in this player script, um, it's basically the same thing what we did on our server um, player script. The, sorry, um, the difference is just we created a new di um, instance of this um, game script to access it later on um, from other scripts. And yeah, um, as you can see, the public string username level access and first time is the same thing like on the server. And actually, um, on our client handle data, um, on our handle in-game function, um, we are just reading out our package we did send from the server because um, on the third or fourth video or even the second, I don't remember correctly, uh, we are sending data, um, the player data we are saving um, from the server to the player's client uh, when we are logging in. So. Um, we are just reading out the whole stuff and assign it to our player script. And um, I already um, and I also sorry, uh, my English sucks again today. I'm I'm so sorry. And on our in-game menu, um, if we activate this, um, uh, I have created. Uh, on our handle data a new header called player menu a new text um, called player welcome and uh, I assign this piece um, this uh, in, in our in-game menu or welcome player I assign this to our network manager client handle data player welcome object so when we are logging in and we are getting the data um, as you can see, um, it says then welcome and then our player player name. We can also say welcome back uh, player name. That's actually everything what I did. Uh, yeah, uh, on our um, as well on our client handle data when we are finding a match. Um, we are checking um, when we are reading out the package from uh, player one name and player two name. We are reading out um, if the player one name equals our um, username from our player class we have assigned when we are logging in. Um, in this case, then our opponent's um, name has to be player two. There's uh, no other way. And if our player one equals not our player uh, username from our player class then the opponent name has to be um, player one and that's it and uh, I can show you how it works so when we are starting our server and um, when we are starting our client um, in the last video it just says welcome player as you can see here in the screen but now when we are logging in Oh, not test that's our password uh, our case and test then it says um, welcome back mm. <laughs> give me a second uh, welcome back and then uh, Kevin there you go and yeah 
Uh, sorry for the short uh, short video, um, but I will upload again the project files onto GitHub so you can download it. But yeah, um, it was sad because um, the video didn't record my my voice. And yeah, um, in our next video, we are setting up our server actually on the on on a root server, so every player can connect to the IP address without port forwarding and all those uh, shitty stuff. And yeah, um, hope you like it. Um, sorry again and see you guys in the next video. Bye.